Hi friends, Mehjubin here. Today I am going to evaluate the poem The Cold Within. This poem was composed by James Patrick Kinney. I have already uploaded a video featuring the paraphrase of this poem. You will find the link on the end screen of today's video. This poem is based on the death of a group of six people who had all gathered around a fire on a bitterly cold day. Each of these persons had a log of wood which he could have added to the fire to keep it burning for as long as possible. However, they failed to do so because of their prejudices against each other. The result was that they all had to die. So this is how the poem starts. Six humans trapped by happenstance. That means six people who were trapped by a coincidence in bleak and bitter cold bleak means desolate on a bitterly cold day six people had assembled by the fire each one possessed a stick of wood each of these uh, men they had a stick of wood or so the story is told each of them had a log of wood or that is how the narrative goes. They are dying fire in need of logs. So the fire was not burning uh, very well. It needed some fuel to keep it going for the rest of the day. But the first one held hers back. Each of them had a log of wood and the first one was a lady and she held her log of wood back. She did not add it to the fire. Now she had a reason and the reason was that for of the faces round the fire she noticed one was black. She had a prejudice against black people so from this it can be understood that the lady was a white woman and she hated black men and uh, because one of the people who had assembled there was a black man so that, that was the reason why she did not add her log of wood to the fire. The next man looking across the way saw one knot of his church. Now the next person, he looked across the way to, uh, uh, to see that one of those people who had assembled there did not belong to the church that he went to. He, the, uh, the other person belonged to a different religion and could not bring himself to give the fire his lock of his stick of birch and that was the reason why he did not add his log of wood to the fire birch means wood birch is a tree it's a it's a tree so he had a, a log of wood that had been cut off from the from the birch tree and he did not add it to the fire because he had a prejudice against people who did not follow the religion uh, that he followed. The third one sat in tattered clothes. So the third person was a poor man. His clothes were old and worn out. He gave his coat a hitch. So he was wearing a light coat and, uh, uh, and uh, because of which he was shivering and that is why he gathered it, he pulled it tighter around his body. Why should his log be put to use to warm the idle rich? Now his thinking was that why should he add his log of wood to the fire because that would warm the idle rich people. That is one of the uh, persons sitting there was a rich man and he being a poor person he hated rich people and he thought that they were an idle lot. They uh, inherited their wealth from their forefathers and uh, they did not work her hard to earn it, earn it and that is why he had a negative opinion of people who were rich and that was the reason why he did not add his log of wood to the fire the rich man just sat back and thought of the wealth he had in store so the rich man in the group he just sat back and thought of the wealth that he had accumulated the wealth that he had hoarded in his lifetime for how to keep 
and how to keep what he had earned from the lazy, shiftless poor. The rich man had a poor opinion of poor people. He thought that they were aimless. Shiftless means aimless. They did not. He thought that they did not have any aims and objectives, any aims and aspirations in life, and that is why they were poor. And he kept his log of wood. He did not add it to the fire because he thought that if he did that, the log of wood was his belonging. And if he did that, it would be like helping the poor people. The poor people, he thought that they did not deserve to be helped because they were an aimless lot. The black man's face bespoke revenge. Now the black person sitting there, his face expressed revenge. It reflected revenge, feelings of revenge, feelings of grudge, hatred, as the fire passed from his sight. So he, he saw that the fire was not going to last for long, but still he could not curb his feelings of revenge and hatred and prejudice. For all he saw in his stick of wood was a chance to spite the white. By uh, by not adding his log of wood to the fire, he got the opportunity to take revenge on the white woman who was sitting uh, amongst them. So that was the reason why he kept back his log of wood. He did not add it to the fire. The last man of this forlorn group, forlorn means hopeless or miserable. The last man of this forlorn group did not that means he didn't do anything he did nothing except for gain if he did anything for others it was only for his own personal gain he did not take any step in helping other people if he did not uh, uh, if he did not if there wasn't there wasn't any chance of getting uh, back something in return so he was a very materialistic kind of man giving only to those who gave was how he played the game so this man, he assisted only those people from whom he got assistance or help or some kind of uh, profit. And, those peop and the people from whom he did not get any gain, he avoided those people and he did not like to help them. And that was one of the reasons, that was his primary reason why he kept, uh, kept back his log of wood. He did not add it to the fire. Their logs held tight in death's still hands was proof of human sin. So this line shows that all the six people had died. And uh, even in death, they were holding those their logs of woods together in their hands. Their hands had become frozen because of death. Their logs held tight, tightly they were holding their logs of wood. Uh, their logs held tight in dead still hands, still means immovable hands, was proof, it was evidence of human sin. The message of the poet is to convey the, uh, convey the idea that human beings should help each other, should assist each other, should love and care for each other, they should have compassionate feelings for one another and only then it will be possible to survive in this world. If sensitivity, compassion, fellow feeling, brotherhood, um, uh, generosity, if these things are missing, then the world will not last for that, uh, for that long. That is the main message of this poem. So this is how the uh, poet concludes the poem. Their logs held tight in death still hands was proof. It was evidence of human sin. They had committed a sin by, um, by um, having so much of grievous feelings, so much of prejudices against each other. They did not die from the cold without. They did not die because of the cold weather outside. They died from the cold within. They died because of the coldness, because of the bitterness in their hearts. Had they had a little bit of um, generosity and warmth in their hearts, they would have added their logs of fire to the, uh, logs of wood to the fire and the fire would have definitely burned much longer and they would have been able to uh, withstand the day and as a result their lives might have been saved but 
this was not to happen because all the six people who had assembled there they were a prejudiced lot and they hated each other and that was the reason why they did not survive thank you so much for watching this video till the end let me know if you have any questions i'll be meeting you soon with yet another tutorial until then bye